This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 235. You are not your job. Act like it, part two, by Colin Wright of exilelifestyle.com. And I'm Dan, I am your host, and I'm here every single day helping you to optimize your life. And if you have any topic requests for future shows, share those with us at oldpodcast.com. You can also get a lot of information about our podcast network there. That's oldpodcast.com. Now, today's post is actually a continuation from yesterday. We had part one yesterday, so uh, definitely listen to that one first if you haven't done so already. But if you're all caught up, let's hear part two as we continue optimizing your life. You are not your job. Act like it. Part two by Colin Wright of exilelifestyle.com. Maintain your personal brand. This is becoming more and more vital even as you read this sentence. Your personal brand is the aura that emanates from everything you do professionally and increasingly personally. Your LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter profiles are all part of your personal brand. Your website and business cards are also a part of this brand. The signature at the bottom of your emails? Yep, part of your personal brand. A strong personal brand can make the difference between instantly bouncing back from a bad professional situation and being stuck in a rut, clientless, and with a bad reputation. Managing this brand should be a top priority and there are a few simple things you can do to make sure it stays strong. First, do not put anything online that you wouldn't want your grandmother to see. Second, be sure that your online real estate, including your website, blog, social network profiles, and Yelp comments, shouts, I'm a professional. It only takes one YouTube video of you drunkenly dancing on a table or mooning a bus full of nuns to negate everything you've worked hard for. Make your online real estate into assets rather than liabilities. Third, consider your real-life persona carefully and be brutally honest with yourself about what needs to change. If you dress like a slob, expressing yourself, and curse like a sailor in front of your boss, you may want to rein yourself in a bit and find a middle ground that will work for you. You don't have to sell out, but if you want to be taken seriously, be prepared to fit into your environment to even a small degree. Khakis and a button-down shirt will not kill you, I promise. A much longer and more involved assessment of personal branding can be found in a free ebook I wrote entitled The Least You Need to Know, Personal Branding. No man is an island, but you are a peninsula. Finally, keep in mind that though you will be attached to certain companies and people throughout your professional life, at any moment, you are surrounded by clear, open ocean on three sides, and it's just waiting for you to explore it. If and when you get the chance or desire to fly the coop and change your career path, you'll be much happier knowing that you are prepared to do so, as much as one can be prepared for such a thing, at least. If you lose your job, or if there's some kind of emergency that requires a complete change in lifestyle, things will settle into a new routine much faster if you're able to roll with the punches. Keep your mind open, a minimal number of enemies, and a constantly growing collection of skills, and you'll be ready for anything. Update, April 24th, 2016. There are a few points in this post that I still agree with, but would phrase differently today. First, focusing on one's career is important, but only if that career melds and balances well with your lifestyle. The way I wrote about this in this post, it implies that your long-term work goals are more important than your temporal work situation, which is true, but thinking about it that way can still be harmful if your career keeps you from living and becoming a more fully realized and fulfilled version of yourself. Second, the word networking has become kind of a non-starter for me due to the impression that it catalyzes that networking means treating people as resources to be leverages in a professional sense. I wrote a book about this and then rewrote it a few years ago for clarity and so that it didn't suck so bad, but also to update the ideas it contained. Because I think our relationships are important and that the best way to have strong relationships is not to be a mercenary about it and use people, but rather to just be a good person, treat people well, and let those people you interact with know if there's something you're trying to accomplish professionally. It doesn't have to be more complicated or cold than that, and approaching things in this way, you're more likely to have a round, healthy lifestyle rather than one that's filled with valuable professional connections but no one you actually like or who makes you happy. Finally, I still think personal branding is important, but that's another term that's fallen out of vogue for many reasons, so I tend to think about it in terms of telling your story clearly, concisely, in a true and informative way, and ideally in a way that doesn't put other people to sleep. It's about clear communication, and focusing on that, and on which aspects of you are vital at any given moment, is something that works well for your career, but transcends work, and bleeds over beneficially into your personal life as well. You just listened to part two of the post titled, You Are Not Your Job, 
Act Like It by Colin Wright of ExileLifestyle.com. And a big thank you to Netgear for their support of this podcast. Do you need to upgrade your business's Wi-Fi performance? Is your Wi-Fi slowing down when you work from home because you're sharing it with your family? Do you wish you had your own secure Wi-Fi network separate from the rest of the house? Netgear Business's Wi-Fi 6 products represent the latest in Wi-Fi technology. They deliver unmatched speeds, coverage, security, and capacity for growing your business or working from home. They're also packed with features, like the ability to easily create a separate network at home dedicated to your work. Plus, seamless management helps you keep your guests and employees connected and your data protected, providing visibility from anywhere at any time. The world runs on Wi-Fi, and small businesses and home offices are no exception. With Netgear Business Solutions, you get the very best Wi-Fi performance to keep you connected whether you're in the office, working from home, or on the go. Visit netgear.com business and use code OPTIMAL10 at checkout to save 10%. That's netgear.com business with code OPTIMAL10 at checkout to save 10%. And again, thank you so much to Colin for letting us share his work today. He always has a unique perspective. All right, I'm gonna keep this ending pretty short for you on this Sunday, if you're listening in real time. But if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to this show in your favorite podcast app. It is a big help to us and helps to keep the show going. Plus, it gives you all the new episodes automatically so you're always caught up. You can also hit the follow button depending on what app you're using. Either one would be fantastic. Uh, We're now in Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, and Audible, Pandora, and more. So again, thank you for subscribing or following. And that's gonna do it for today here at Optimal Startup Daily. Hope you enjoyed the post from Colin and thanks as always for being here. I will see you back here tomorrow and that's where your optimal life awaits.